In this third and final part of episode 2, we're going to continue where we left off in the two previous episodes, where I have shown you from installation of the Weka software to pre-processing the dataset and model construction using the decision tree algorithm C4.5. In this video, I will show you how to interpret the decision rules obtained from the decision tree model. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's have a look at the tree. What does it actually look like? Uh, you can right click on this label here and then find visualize tree. And then this is the tree. This is the decision tree created by the J48 or the C4.5 algorithm. The first one represents the root node and rectangle represents the leaf node. And so these represents the subsequent uh, branching out uh, of the variable. So let's start from the root node here. So the first variable is pedal width. And if the pedal width has a value of less than zero, minus 0 0.784457, then we can classify it as being iris citosa. And in parentheses, 50 of these are using this rule. So if the pedal width has a value greater than 0 0.656917, then we can say that it is a iris virginica. And 46 of these have been correctly classified, while one have been misclassified. And so we can do the same with the branching out of node as well. So this means that in order to be classified as iris versicolor here, the pedal width needs to be in the range of uh, minus 0 0.78, and 0 0.65 this is the first variable and the second variable needs to have pedal length value of less than 0 0.64 to be a iris versicolor and so if we move on to the subsequent branch here the pedal length has a value greater than 0 0.64 and the pedal width has a value less than 0 0.39 then we can say that it is a iris virginica however if the pedal width has a value of greater than 0 0.39, then we can say that it is a iris versicolor. So this visual tree will allow us to come up or visualize the, the, the if and then rules of the decision tree that have been created. And we can see that 96% accuracy uh, was afforded by the tree. So very useful and that's about it. So Congratulations, you have just built your first prediction model. And in the future videos, we're going to cover some more algorithms and other interesting data mining software as well. So until next time, I'm Chanin Nanta Senamad on the Data Professor channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so that you will be notified on the next video. So I'll see you in the next one.